In this video, I'm going to show you how to plastic weld a whitewater kayak. Let's have a look at the problem to start with. So this is my Piranha Macno, and right underneath the seat, I've got a split in the plastic. Um, I find that that's a common area to get splits in your kayak, just because that's where your bum sits on the inside and all the weight's kind of transferred when you're sliding over rocks or boofing over drops. So, this is our little job to fix here. The things you're going to need to repair a kayak, some pretty basic tools. Um, I've got them all laid out here. I've got my donor plastic, which you can see here. A heat gun, circular saw, sander, little scraper, and a bit of sandpaper. So some pretty basic tools to get the job done. Earmuffs, bit of PPE over there, and also my power supply. So the first thing I want to do is get my donor plastic, and uh, I want to cut myself a long rod for plastic welding, so I can weld it into that gap down there. To cut this plastic rod for welding, I could use a circular saw to chop a nice edge off here, um, but today I'm just going to use a hand saw. The next thing to do, now that I've cut a little edge of plastic off, which is my rod that I'm going to use for welding, is I want to just clean it up and kind of sand it and uh, make it nice and uniform. Ideally, the thickness of the plastic, that's how thick you want your rod, so it's kind of, I guess, square or circular. So you've got a nice, clean rod to weld into that crack. All right, here's the rod that I'm going to weld on. You can see on the bottom, it's all burred and roughed up. But up the top, the part I'm going to use, it's all nice and smooth. And uh, I've taken, I've sanded every side of it so that there's no sunscreen or body oil or contamination. It's just straight down to the raw material so that I'm going to have the best chance of the plastic bonding to the other plastic. Now I have to prepare where I'm going to weld on the boat. So this is a little tool that I've made. It's just a handle with a bit of steel on the end with a V shape. And what I want to do with that is I want to scrape out the split in the kayak and basically create like a deep V in there. Um, that'll give me some space to weld my rod in and it'll also prep that surface area back to raw material so that my little welding rod, plastic rod, has the best chance of bonding to it. What I'm gonna do now is scrape this along and just really try and get a deep V into that crack there. So using my little gouging tool, what I've done is I've gouged out that material and opened it right up. Now with my welding rod, I wanna make sure that I have enough material to fill that. When I've gouged it out, I've gouged out past the crack. Some people will drill their ends out on either end to stop that split from moving any further. Um, I'm gonna use this welding rod and I'm gonna start um, above and below the crack, make sure I fill in the whole area. So the split was probably about that long and I've gouged out that long. Um, so it should stop it from splitting in the future. The, uh, the next step is to prepare the surface up here. Um, we want to get rid of any contamination, any body oil, any sweat, any sunscreen, um, and make sure that we've got beautiful raw plastic there um, so that our rod has the best chance of bonding well. So to prepare the surface, I could either use the electric sander, but today I'm just going to use some emery ivory paper and just do it by hand. Now that I've sanded the top surface, give it another gouge out. And uh, now I'm going to clean it up with a rag and get all that loose material you can see out of there. So you could use a solvent like acetone to really get in there and clean it. But um, after the sanding, I feel like a nice 
dry rub should do the trick for me. There we are. A little brush there. Make sure the whole area is nice and clean. There's no plastic fragments in there. Now comes the tricky part, using the heat gun to weld the rod into the crack. Now that we've prepared the rod, we've prepared the surface, we're ready to go. With the heat gun, uh, the worst thing you can do is have too much heat. This thing will blow holes in the plastic and melt it all. So you just want to bring it up to the temp where it's going to bond. And if you do get the plastic too hot, either on the rod or on the boat, then you need to stop, let it cool down and start again. If you keep pumping heat into that thing, you're just going to blow a giant hole and your kayak will be ruined. So I recommend practicing on an old wreck boat first. Um, so you kind of get an idea of how it works and how to mold. When you push the rod down, you need to heat the rod and the boat evenly. It's like hot enough that the plastic's gonna melt and bond, but not so hot that you're gonna blow holes into your beautiful kayak. Here we go. So starting at the very end of the crack is key. Make sure the heat gun's warming up, doing its job. Now we want to get this plastic tacky and we also want to get this plastic tacky. Okay, and you'll tell when it is getting to the right level when you start to see it gloss a little bit. Yeah. One thing I want to do now while the boat's warm, you can see there's a high point there. While the plastic is melted, uh, oh, and it's malleable um, I want to try and hold it down so there's no high point if I've got a high point in the bottom of my hull then the next time I go over a rock that part is going to be sticking up and it's the most likely to tear so I try and I want to try and kind of keep that uniform rounded shape of the hull without any high points okay so now that our rods on there the part that's not attached that we're holding on to I want to chop that part off Beautiful. Now it's time to sand this down and dress it up. When you're sanding back the remaining material, um, it's important to go very slowly. Like this orange plastic here, it's thin. That's why it's split there. Um, so when I'm sanding it back, I really want to concentrate on getting that yellow material off. If I just leave it like that, you can see it's raised. And the next time I go over a rock, it's just going to catch and uh, it's going to cause damage to the, to the weak point. So I need to try and smooth this down so that when I do slide over things, it doesn't catch on anything. All right, got a heap of the material off. Weld's looking pretty good. Now it's time to do it by hand. All right, here's our finished result. No lumps, no burrs. Did the last part by hand um, so that I didn't take too much off using a machine. But you can see the deep gouge that I gouged out of the original um, orange plastic has been filled with the new yellow plastic and um, it's come up really good there's kind of a little edge there from where the split was originally and the plastics moved a little bit and uh, this is how you plastic weld I want you to keep in mind that this is um, a technique that will just buy you more time so if you've got a split in your kayak it really is the beginning of the end like now that this boat's been repaired it would get me out of trouble for a while but there is no way that i would go and do like a two or three day expedition using this boat um, if i was out in the middle of the wilderness and another split formed or this one gave way i'd be in real trouble so you know as soon as you do get a split really it's time just to start saving for a new kayak buy a new one um, this will get me out of trouble on my local run just doing day trips with easy road access um, and I'll get maybe, you know, a few more months, who knows, maybe even a year out of this. But um, it's on its last legs. This is the end of this kayak's life. It's been 
abused over waterfalls and big rapids for the last few years and uh, this is just going to buy me a little bit of extra time right now so certainly by no means is it a long-term solution um, I hope this was helpful I hope this was informative and uh, yeah my tips are practice on um, an old wreck kayak before you do it on your good boat so you can get a feel of how it works for the best results good luck with your plastic welding <laughs>